Hello, I'm Vashti Hardy and I'm going to tell you a little bit about my new book with Barrington Stoke which is out in September called The Griffin Gate. I was so thrilled to be asked to write this story for Barrington Stoke because I love their books and I have a son who was a reluctant reader when he was younger and a daughter um, who is dyslexic so uh, for them the Barrington Stoke books were a real route into reading. So The Griffin Gate is, um, if you know the sort of stories that I write, then um, it's, it's along the same vein. So there's high invention, adventure in a fantasy world. The story uh, centres around a girl called Grace Griffin from the Griffin family. Now the Griffin family live in a country called Moorland in the capital city of Copperport. Now in Copperport, the Griffin family uh, are wardens of a very special map that was invented by their great grandma Griffin, who was a brilliant inventor. And great grandma Griffin has made a map that uh, shows the whole of Moorland and it has gates on the map, electronic gates um, that you can teleport into if you touch them. Now, around Moorland, there are in the different towns and uh, villages are something like the red phone boxes that we know from our world. And in this world, they can put in a call if they're in a difficult situation or in danger or in trouble and they need some help from a warden of Copper, Copperport, they can put in a call and the gate on the map back in Copperport will flash and the wardens, the Griffin family, can go and touch the gate, teleport inside and they can go and help whoever is in need. Now, Grace Griffin has an older brother, Bren, who is, has become a warden and is being very success, successful and doing rather well. And uh, she has a bit of, um, bit of jealousy going on. She really wants to be a warden, but she's too young at the moment. She's not ready to actually go on missions on her own. Now, a situation comes about at the beginning where Grace is left alone with the map. You can see where I'm going here and temptation calls. A call comes into the map and it starts flashing. It's an emergency call and Grace thinks to herself, well, what if I answer this call? I know I'm not allowed to, but perhaps I can go and solve the problem and prove myself. So she touches the gate and teleports inside and she arrives in a, a strange village miles and miles and miles away from Copperport and uh, she's told that there is a monster in the forest but um, as you can imagine things are not quite as they seem and uh, Grace finds herself in all sorts of mischief and trouble. So that's enough to get you enticed hopefully and really look forward to you reading The Griffin Gate and it being out in the world. The cover is amazing, I'm so excited um, to uh, be able to have it in the world. So thanks for listening and hope you enjoy it.